I'm saying that I'm part of the frame. Which is actually because I am defense, so I need to get everything out there. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, Let's give yourself a round of applause. Let's go. This time is usually designated for just one hard, solid couple of hours of training, as well as just mixing and mingling and hanging out before we take off for the holiday break. So everyone will be showing you something. As always, we would like to give courtesy first. Oh, oh, oh you're already in here now. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's go, come off the plate, let's go. On the floor, come on, let's move. All right. Before anything else, we always like to give courtesy and respect to the man who made it all possible, Mr. Grandmaster Kevin Thompson, so everyone can stand up. Give your courtesy and courtesy! And we have a multitude of black belts on the floor. Some of you probably never met said black belt, so we're going to take some time out and let everyone know, everyone introduce themselves. At this time, we're going to start right from down, from the lowest rank. In fact, no, we're going to start from the highest rank first. So we're going to start right from here, and we'll introduce themselves real quick. Professor Ibrahim Abbas Sharif. Was there Earl Thompson? He playing. Professor, he playing around. Yeah. Watch it by here, Camille. What's What's it, Malik Harris? What's it, Kevin Thompson Jr.? What's it, Asma Evans? What's it, Kirk Fang Sr.? 
Encourage them. So whatever you see, something that excites you, make sure you root them on as loud as you possibly can. The energy is not stop for them; it's for you as well. So without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it. And why folks come to the front? Go quick. On behalf of Asatita, this is Allah. In the name of Allah, all praises are due to Allah. I greet everyone in the, in the humble greetings of Aslam. Aslam alaikum. Peace be peace be unto all of you. Ush. My family and I would like to thank everyone for coming out to be together for one last class before the new year. The end of the year class is based on gratitude towards everyone for everything that we all thank the Creator for. We are here to enjoy each other's company and train hard. Hey. Congratulations to everyone and look to the person next to you and tell them congratulations. Give them a nice strong warrior call. Warrior! Yeah. Just a kind word to someone can go a long way. We never really know what people are going through. Each of us has the power to encourage and inspire each other. We must continue to be there for one another. This is the system. And this is what it's all about. Nice. Staying focused on the positive and leaving the negativity behind. Eventually, it will be so far behind that it will never catch up. <laughs> so I say thank you to each and every one of you for being there for the organization and my family and I. Nice. So let's get this show started and I love everyone. Nice. Uh, he would like to give a couple shout outs. Uh, <laughs> First off to my kids, Kashe, who is a freshman at Delaware State, studying to become an accountant. To Wazir KJ, who will be graduating American University in May. Kyle, who is studying to become a registered nurse. More importantly, Kyle has volunteered his time to help Asatiti in the evenings, which is one of the biggest things that we can help, uh, that we can ask for. And we, we'd like to just give them all the time to thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. And lastly, but not least, my wife, Sheena, who has always been the general of the family. She's the big boss. <laughs> Doing any and everything to keep us together. Thank you. And we would like to thank all of you all, and we say, Ush, and congratulations to all of you.
Turtles hit. Hey, Mr. Fox, Mr. Ross, what's up? Turtle toes in. Toes in for Bowser. Ten times every hour. Yeah. And 20 times every hour. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, Gene. I need to leave this count. I need to slide. Here we go. Here we go. Down, 
work. Good 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 work.
basics, as you guys know, that we go through in the school. But Sandy's, the most important thing that we emphasize when students first come here in the school is positioning, is stances. Learning how to stand before you can essentially walk in the chapter of the school of martial arts. So they just went through the five basic stances. As you can see, they tend to spend a lot of time, we spend a lot of time emphasizing the importance of holding a position. That's why their stances are so strong, as you just saw. So give them another hand. We're going to throw that hard reverse punch. We're going to turn in that hard Ronald's kick. Then we're going to put it in a combination mode. You understand? Yes, sir! And everyone, line up. On side, let's go. Put the hair on. Let's go. 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 let us go from A to B with energy. That means when you are instructed to move, you move from right here to right there.
like this. You, you're going to do in a situation of crisis what you train to do. Like what you do in a dojo. So if you punch like this in the dojo, in a real fight you're going to punch like this. You have to develop a strong reverse punch. And I tell you, I'm, I'm up there at age. I'm about almost 70 years old. I can't kick as high. But I have a strong reverse punch because it's been ingrained in me all of my karate training. You always have to have that strong reverse punch. And whether you're doing kata, you have to develop that strong reverse punch. When you're doing the techniques out here, I see a couple of you guys. Young lady, young lady, with a gentleman here and a couple over here. Always develop that strong reverse punch. You may be in a situation where things happen so fast and you're too close to kick. You have one second or a millisecond to defend yourself. I will always defend that strong reverse punch. So when you train, keep that in mind. Always have that strong reverse. Push. 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 Go! 
See that trembles? See it trembling? That's where the power is at. If you don't do that, as Asatita has been teaching you, he's about seven feet tall. Why? Because when he fought on the floor, they thought he was going to spit. Because of power is energy. All of you have it. You have it. You can feel it. You can taste it. You can smell it. You can use the five senses to feel it. So don't just block and the energy is not there. Because when you hit his arm, oh my God, he feels the pain. He goes from the arm all the way up to the brain. So remember, this is not just an expression of going through the theatrics. You're not, these are your parents, your friends, you care about them, but your concentration is not on them. You're not looking for approval from anyone because you're focused. You're focused. Remember, the power is energy. And when you get down, when you get down and you feel like you may not be moving so so correctly, oh! You got it. You have it. Don't it young man. Bring it up! Bring the universal forces from the from the universe. And put it in your body. And put it in your spirit. Nobody can touch you. Thank you. And everyone take one last step up. Go quickly!
your outside life to come back to the building floor and continue your training, that says something about you. Not a lot of people do that to you these days in 2018. You know, if they stop, they just stop. You know, so to make a commitment to come back on the floor, despite their busy lives on the outside of the dojo, and to continue to train, going to the rank of brown belt, which they'll be going on, right next to the black belt very soon. That is very commendable, especially in the martial arts world where there's still not too many females in martial arts. It is still very much a male dominated, you know, world. So I commend these ladies very highly for continuing their training, continuing to go forward to achieve that black belt level. Let's give them a hand. Kata Kata Raja. Translation. Hope. Urgent. Request. Us. Open. You've become, if you've mastered your basics, 
I, I like to say that when you're under a bug, you learn what to do and how to do it. When you get the bug list, why you do it that way. Right now, you're going to demonstrate the first black hole copter. And you're going to see why these gentlemen wear the black hole ramp. You nervous? Come on, man. Let's go with it, man. You're like, you're a long time, Let's go with it, man. Give me my hand. Open it! Come on!
that we have beginners with that type of energy. Oh! Oh! And so few and far between these days that when it comes into your school, you want to cultivate it, you want to harness it. Oh. He's going to be just fine. Oh. Oh. He's going to be just fine. As long as he keeps coming here and keeps the training and intensity that he has right now, when he reaches the white level, he's going to be dangerous. Oh. 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 Young gentlemen, push. Uh, I'll probably run 
blocks on the glass. Right. <laughs> yes. Right. But their commitment and their intensity to their training is something that I can definitely not take away from them. I've had this young man with me since we moved down here. From white ball all the way up to this level. He's done nothing but show me his dedication to his martial arts training. I gotta give him a lot of credit for that. Oh. The over Again, it's not very easy these days, especially when they're their age and they can be distracted by so many other things, to stay with something for this long. So again, I want to give them a hand. Oh. Oh. Show them something. Yeah. And open! Turn this in!
Oh, if you guys didn't know, do you, um, why is there a cage actually DJs? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 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 I watch your videos of you performing Kata weapons and sparring. Good. Even though you said compete, you know, in all three, it's a true world champion. I like to fight. So I want to commit to one of them.
Wait, one day. Kevin Thompson Jr. Let's go. Get it demonstrate. Bo Kata. Bo Kata. Oh, I'm here. Swear, baby. We'll get out while I'm here. Oh, so.
take the time out to open the whole entire dojo up to any comments, testimonials, statements you guys would like to make. Not only just you guys, but you guys as well. Don't be, don't be shy now. I think everybody did a great job <laughs> and they showing people what they working with. Yeah. <laughs> One big job! One big job! For the young ones in here, I want you to look at KJ. Look at your intensity, you know, and look at your other black belts in here. Everything is serious. There's no plan around it, no time at all. Good. So when you come here, be serious, and you'll be like them. Good. 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 I would like to say always, I've probably said this a million times, thank Asatita for uh, allowing me back and also the first time uh, training. I started here, I'm uh, between 14 and a half in uh, North Dojo on 10th Street. And when I met him, I was like a little broken because I was always, always bullied. I was the only child growing up. So it's not that I couldn't fight, it's that when I would fight somebody, they had brothers and sisters. So, but when I, when I met Wazir Jamal, Wazir Al, and uh, our Asatita, when they trained me, they trained me to be a warrior. And that's the first time I learned that. Warrior, one who's willing to go beyond a stopping point. That's a strong meaning. That's a strong meaning. Beyond the stopping point. And to this day, I carry that. Everything I do in life, I am a warrior. Congratulations to you young people, but really congratulations to your support system here. Hey! Right. hey. Yeah. Why, 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 specifically, someone in my position, I'm in education, and I see a lot of times students who don't do well academically or in life, it's not because they don't have the innate abilities, it's because they lack the confidence. Hey. And they lack the specific tools to be successful. Um, I remember when I first started out, and I, I didn't want to do this. I was forced to do it. Obviously, you know my family. So four or five years old, getting up early in the North dojo, six days a week in the dojo, like ah. But I, I knew what it led to me and where my life is today. Right? I struggled with confidence issue, issues as a kid, but being on the dojo, having the support, being able to have Wazir's Asatita force me to do a kata by myself, it started to ingrain that confidence in me that not only I can do this well. But also, I can do anything in life well as well. And that's really what's lacking in a lot of our youth today is, is having a support system, but also having that innate confidence that know that they can do whatever they want to do. So, I commend the parents for constantly pushing them in here in the dojo. And they might not see the benefit of it, but when they're 20, 25, 30 years old, they're going to realize this is the foundation of all their success. So, I congratulate them, but also congratulate you as well on everything that you're doing for your youth. That's my only son. <laughs> and I, I, yes, I did force him, but I knew one day I wouldn't always be there to protect him. So I knew I had to instill certain things or try to instill certain things with him. I'm going to tell you a brief story, and I, I tell this story every time I speak to people about children. My kid, when he was, uh, when you were at Gregory, what, what grade was that? I was on Fox. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. He was diagnosed with ADD, and you know he's always been a good kid, not a malicious kid, but you know teachers have a tendency that when you don't sit there with your hands folded, they don't want to deal with you. So 
I was in a meeting with a principal one day and she said, Mr. Brown, I'm afraid if Earl isn't under some sort of medication, uh, then he may not graduate from high school. And, and at first I thought she was laughing, she was joking. And then when I realized she was serious, I said, under no circumstance will he be under medication. And then she wanted me to take him off out of karate school, you know? And I said, lady, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> well, to, to fast forward, not only did he graduate from high school, he went to a major university, Virginia Tech. He graduated with an MBA from George wow. Mason. And, and now he runs a college. I wish I could see her. And he... And he, like his, his two sisters will tell you, a lot of that came from being here in karate school. So I, I thank you. Thank you. Boss. 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 Support systems. Oh my goodness gracious. I just did something that was inspired by Asatita. At the age of 19, I was running the No School of Karate under the late James Chief. I didn't realize it until I watched someone that I respect and love because it's not just about punching and kicking, it's about education. <laughs> is what he has always implemented. But as I looked at my brother, I am 71 going on 40. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if you see me move on the floor, you think I'm working. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been working out every day, it's my spirit. Yeah. What I saw what Asatita is doing in recognizing people, in honoring people for their labor, for their consistency and their hard work. Because if you take a person's will away, you don't have to worry about nothing else. You don't. So what I did uh, last week, Asatia, in the spirit of you, and you encouraged me to do it after teaching the martial arts when I was 13 years old. I promoted two students based on what I've seen my brother Asatia do, two of my students, two professors. One of them started with me when he was nine, and now he's 55. Harry is 60, he's 62. But it was because of your example that I've learned, 71 going on 40, how I should also duplicate what he's doing. A wise man is always a student. Once you stop learning, you stop growing. So I said, Gina, and told all of the Wazirs, your family, your wife, your children, your sons, your brothers. I want to thank you for inspiring me to be 41 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Shigan Kendrick, he's pulled me back in the dojo. He's been training me for like the last year because I was really out of it. And we a little over here. And because of my brother, Bonnie Camille, you know, he told me, he said, you know, get back into it. I need to go see the professor. And then he told me, he said, he has all of you in me. Kendrick has all of you in me. He has your full knowledge of this system. He can teach it just as good as you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm very honored to be under him. And I love my brother, and he, and he stays on me all the time. And I tell him, like he said, why well, you don't want to fight no more, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say, man. Why are you just kicking me, man? I'm going to be very brief, but I want to be very, it's very important to me to say this. I want you to understand, 1982, that's when I came to train with Grandmaster, 1982. Now here's, here's, here's the interesting part. I never left since 1982. I went to law school, clerkships, as a judge, as a Superior Court judge. 30, 
ever since I came in 1982. Awesome. I've seen people come and go and come back. Right. I never left because I never had a reason to leave because the best thing awesome. for me when I came to this man, this young man, was the type of discipline, the type of structure, the type of mental focus that I received here that allowed me to excel as a child attorney, as a judge, as a teacher here, as a brother to all of you. It's because of what I learned here, a large part, this community. Awesome. And, I, awesome. and, and I say to all of you who have children here, thank you so much because you don't know what you're doing to them. When I look on this wall, and I'll say this, I have my brother on that wall, and I gave him my son, my son came here at four. He's on that wall, one of the early black brothers. And, and this is a family. It's an organization, but it's a family. This man has committed his life to this community. He could go to jet and go anywhere in the world and done this. Anywhere in the world. He could have threw a dot at the globe, a dart at the globe, <laughs> where it landed. Somebody been there to receive him. I'm not, I'm serious. But he chose to stay here in this area to bring his blessings that he received from the Creator to all of us. And to that, I say thank you. I say thank you because I am who I am. say there was uh, something that uh, Professor uh, Bahir said. Uh, I raised my daughter in this dojo. Uh, she is now uh, working with the NAACP. Wow. But she graduated from uh, Carwell College with honors, summa cum laude, because of this man right here, Grandmaster. Because of him helping me raise my kids and Professor Bahir. And I owed him my life. I just want to make a quick announcement. Uh, next year, uh, myself, Wazir, uh, Larry Puritan, and some of the other black belts, we're going to establish a scholarship fund in the name of Grand National. <laughs> It's going to be our goal to give each one of the students that qualify a $2,500 scholarship. So I'd like uh, Mr. Sheraton to go over with some of the ways that we're going to do that, if he doesn't mind. <laughs> oh, Mr. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Um, what we did is, it's called a challenge coin, okay? We're having a coin, we're having the coins made, they should be ready by the first or second week in January. Now a challenge coin, what it is, it's about the size of a half dollar. And it was originated, the original creation of it was made in the military. Anybody in the military knows what a challenge coin is. Everybody in that battalion had one of those coins. And throughout the history of the military, everybody, every enlisted man had one of those coins. 
So what would happen is that was your legitimacy to that battalion. Like, you know, you're sitting in a bar talking to somebody and they're saying, oh, well, yeah, I was in 53rd. And the guy said, 53rd? I was in the 53rd. Oh, yeah. And then they take the coin out, slap it on the table. And that's our challenge. I'm challenging you to produce your coin. To produce your coin. So I started that when I retired from the fire department. I had a challenge coin made for the Jersey City Fire Department. And now it's a thing that's taken off. Some of the, some of the, uh, the groups are having them, some of the battalions are having them, and now we haven't won for Grandmaster Kevin Thompson. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, the, the front, you can see the front, everybody's seen that logo before. It's on the t-shirts. But this is what makes it the greatest. It says, let it be known that the holder of this Shaquille Warrior scholarship coin is a warrior for life and is held in high regard by Grandmaster Kevin Thompson. Okay, now the only difference with this coin and the ones that I made, they're numbered. They're numbered. These coins are going to be numbered. We gonna know when when you came in. When you came in, okay? We starting from one to three hundred, and right now it's a limited edition. So it's three. There's gonna be three hundred of these coins. Are you gonna have one? Who's gonna have one? Who's gonna have one? Okay. The donation for the coin is one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars, okay. Smokers smoke that up in about a, a month, <laughs> okay. If you're still smoking cigarettes, you spend about a hundred dollars a month. So take a break on the cigarette, <laughs> get your coin, get your coin, and like I said, they're numbered, so we gonna know when you came in, okay. I, I got mine already, or it's already set. I got number two. I got number two. Why? Because Earl got number one. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be this is going to be set in stone. This is going to be this man's legacy. A hundred percent. A hundred percent of the proceeds are go going to the scholarship. Because he's always been about children. Yeah, exactly. All of, that's right. That's right. All the money. You know? And like I said, we're going to set this in stone so that it's going to be this man's legacy. For years to come, when your kids get older, they're going to be walking around looking, trying to get their coin. And it's going to be. Legacy. It's it's our legacy. Our legacy. He, you know, he's taking the legacy. Well, okay, okay. Our legacy. It's going to be the school's legacy. In our review, it always comes back to you. It always comes back to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, this first or second, uh, well, the second or third week in January, Earl's number is here, his email is here, and uh, we're gonna get this thing off the off. the next the next uh, end of the year class. We're gonna have recipients for this. Right? Yes. We're going to have recipients for the I, I would say that if, if, while there is still in production, that they should, they should be reserved now. Right? Should they reserve now? Oh, they can reserve them now? There is a sign up. And why I say that is because this is not being promoted in just this dojo. As we know, uh, I see this worldwide. So, only 300, everyone's going to be trying to get some of these coins. Well, see, that's why this is the first time anybody's hearing about it. Right. So we got Before it goes public, right. 
Everybody has the opportunity. Also, I spoke to Alonzo Earl. Uh, Alonzo Earl was telling me that he's going to the key is 360. Not only for those kids who go to college. And I told her I would have Because I have a track record. But the kids who want to be a certified, get a certification from the U.S. Department of Labor for the trades, electricians, that we would have that network where they can go, for those who are not going to do the four-year academia, they can go and, and work with the labor of the hands. Do you not know that most of the tradesmen, I'm not talking about the young men that work with Uncle Johnny or, 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 or Pop, but they will have their U.S. United States Department of Labor certification. That means they can go anywhere in the world and get top pay. And I got that concept, and I and I have talked about it. I got it from the Honorable Booker T. Washington when he talked about the honor of labor in which your hand. The third layer, this is the 360, and I spoke to Earl about it right there, will be for those students who need support, and I told him I would help in this regard. Those students who need support, who may not be doing well in school, but through what is being created, and being Earl talked about it, Asatina, we would be able to refer them to get support for, for tutoring, for mentoring, whatever they need. And Earl is correct, JR. I call him JR. Earl is correct that if we set that example, if we set that example under what you and in, 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 in Wazir is talking about, and it's not bragging, but we want to be contagious. For those students who go to the top 25 Ivy League schools or they go to any other school, and for those students who want to go into the trades because we don't have men who are getting their certification in the trades. Very quickly, before we close out the class portion of our end of the year class, I just want to let you guys know that we will be giving out some certificates as you guys eat. Uh, we'll be giving out Lifetime Achievement Awards, which reads, I'm not going to read out the recipient's name, because, well, the recipient is not here. So we're going to, it says, in the name of God, Grandmaster Kevin Thompson, Shaq Hill School of Martial Arts, Cadet Organization Inc. presents the Lifetime Achievement Award, where an individual has set a high standard for themselves continuously, inside and outside of the dojo, and have become an example and inspiration for others, setting high standards for everyone around them. Their spirit allows them to champion through life and provide hope for a better future. Today, the Shaq Hill School of Martial Arts, Cadet Organization, honors that person for their outstanding commitment, dedication, and overall generosity, not only to the martial art community, but to the world all over. They are lifetime achievers, so you'll be receiving those also. The next one, this this, this award will be going to you students who have come out today and dedicate your time to training. Them. This is a Warrior Recognition Award. And it's a, for an individual who has performed beyond the expectations of themselves as well as others. They have displayed a high level of confidence, discipline, commitment, determination, focus, concentration, energy, and technique. They led by example and achieved success. So the Shaq Hill School of Martial Arts respects and congratulates all of you guys. Awesome. Oh. Amazing. the support system, you parents, because without you guys, they would not be here. So this is a Parent Appreciation Award. It's to those who have devoted their time, their energy, and love towards their children's continued training in the Shaq Hill School of Martial Arts. Again, we respect and congratulate you guys as well. So don't leave right away. All right, just say, hang on for a minute, you know, while you're eating, so you can get your award. Okay? You good? All right, cool. All right. Give those hands. Did you want to say something, Chris Shay? I just want to say, us! us! I want to thank everybody for, com for coming out today, from the students to the parents to all of the people that we haven't seen in a few years. Like we say, 
Being here in the dojo, once you're on the line, once a warrior, always a warrior. Right. Once on that wall, can't stop, won't stop. Right. My is here in this dojo today, so everybody should be here in this dojo today. All right. All right. So I want to thank everybody for just coming out and showing the support because one, it's a great thing to see kids starting at my, at the age that I started at being just as strong and if not stronger right. and having a bright future. And then seeing guys, all of the people that I looked up to, you know, still being here and being on this floor, you know, that's what helps keep me going. Awesome. And of course, as always, my parents and my sister and my brother and everybody else, all my immediate family, them, they keep me going, which keeps this place going. Of course. Right? So I want to say thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of Asatita and my mom, I would like to say thank you. Wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everything. Asalaamu Alaikum. And discipline, standing still as we made our comments just now. I know you guys are anxious to start eating. Don't lie, I know you guys are. So, we're going to close out. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a very good job, not just for today, but for the whole entire year. All right? I know there's been times where we've seen where we were too hardy, but that's for a reason. We want the best for you. All right? We always want the best for you. Bless you. So we are going to continue to be hard. Our parents are going to continue to be hard. Do you understand? But it's for your betterment. For the adults' training, continue to keep your training going. Be the example for these young people right here in front of you. <laughs> and stand up. I'm going to end. Give it courtesy, Ann. Courtesy.